Ladies, this is Sugar Life. I just got off a date. I got this gift. I get home. I have all these Amazon gifts outside my house. Every day is like Christmas for me. I'm not kidding. This is what Sugar Life can be like. So ladies, I always have a whole bunch of Amazon boxes and packages that are unopened because I have multiple SDs that are sending me things at the same time. I want to give you a couple tips on how to handle that, okay? Um, especially because I'm in the Dominican Republic half of the month while I'm gone, a lot of the gifts build up and I come home to like this huge pile. Okay. The pile you're looking at right now is actually a small pile. Okay. I've, I have thrown out a lot of the boxes, but literally just yesterday I had to open like 20, 20 different gifts that were sitting there for days and days and days. And these guys are like text messaging me saying, oh, did you like your gift? Did you open it yet? Did you open it yet? And I keep telling them, oh, I will tomorrow. I'm just really busy. I don't have time. They don't understand why it's taking me so long. It's taking me so long because I have so many I need to open. So sometimes I don't get around to it for a while. And then as soon as I open some, then I open my door and there's a whole nother pile of gifts I need to open. Okay. And because they're being sent by, you know, well, not too many guys, because there's not, you know, too many men that know my home address, but you know, there's a few who I really, really trust and they know my home address. So they're allowed to send me stuff. But okay, here is the tip ladies. If you have multiple SDs sending you gifts at the same time, what you don't want to happen is for one to send you a necklace, right? And the other one sends you, you know, like, I don't know, like some new electronic and the other one sends you a dress hat. Like you can't always tell who sent you what. Okay. It gets confusing. I know sometimes um, they do send those little um, gift notes inside, but if they don't send the little gift note saying who it's from, you might not know who it's from and you don't want to screw up and, you know, text John, oh, thank you for the dress. And he's going to be like, I didn't send you a dress. I sent you a necklace. So um, my tip for this is every time you give a guy the mailing address to send you your gifts, spell your name differently, okay? Okay, let's say your name is Anna, right? One guy, you tell him it's spelled A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. The other guy, say it's spelled A-N-A. -N -A. The other guy, say it's Annie. A-N-N-I-E, okay? It's like a close enough version to your name, but you'll know who sent it to you based on who it's addressed to and how your name is spelled, okay? So John, he spells it A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Bob spells it A-N-A. -N -A. Joe spells it A-N-N-I-E. You get what I'm saying here? That way you will always know which gift came from which guy. Okay, so that's my tip. Um, I've got some stuff to open up and I've got some cardboard to break down. I want to see what kind of presents I got. And uh, yeah, those are my tips for now. And um, mm, that's it. Talk to you later. Bye for now. If you like these kind of videos and you want more sugar dating, sugar baby tips on how to do it in the most productive efficient, effective manner where you can keep your privacy, where you cannot get caught if you are the type of sugar baby that's trying to, you know, not let the guys know that they're not the only one. Okay. There's different styles and different ways to do this. Okay. I can give you all different types of tips. So if you like this type of advice, like subscribe. I have lots of videos about things like this, um, about male psychology, about your own psychology, about relationships. You can also go to the Sugar Lady Academy. The link will be in the description box below. And um, there's a lot of videos there, a lot of courses. And as always, look out for the coupons, okay? You can get great discounts. All right, ladies, talk to you later. Bye for now. Oh, ladies, these are the roses that Shira recommends all the time. I'm sure you've seen these in her videos. I've 
have gotten my Estes to buy me these. These roses, they're actual real roses and they last for like a whole year, I guess. So um, I've had these for a few weeks now and they look exactly the same. They're soft, they're like, you know, they're real roses. You don't have to water them or anything. They just stay alive. They're dipped in some type of chemical. You can't smell the chemical or anything like that. But yeah, these are great. Um, Shira always shows these and talks about them. I think they're wonderful because you get to have flowers all the time. I mean, you know, I normally have some flowers here in my apartment because men just give me flowers a lot. But for the times that I'm not getting any flowers, it's nice to come home and see these. I don't know what it is about flowers, but they just make you feel good when you get home just to like see them there. And these are real. They're very, very cool. 